doctor. The effort to bounce back from flooding will certainly take a long time, but an important step in the process in Montpelier just took place. ABC 22's Mike Howie was there tonight. He joins us now live in the studio with more. Well, Lauren, the Vermont Secretary of State's office has just become the first state-level agency to reopen its capital city office space on State Street, and they've done it by welcoming this colorful and significant work of art. In 2020, the Vermont Suffrage Centennial Alliance commissioned South Burlington artist Cynthia Cagle to create an oil painting. The light of truth upon them celebrates 100 years of the federal right of women to vote. It's particularly exciting to, you know, to look at this painting that, uh, that really depicts so many of the heroes uh, and leaders uh, in the women's suffrage and uh, women's equality movement and to have a Vermonter among them. That Vermonter is Luvenia Bright, the first woman of color elected to the state legislature. She died in Illinois in late July at the age of 81. Because of when the centennial of women's suffrage took place, the piece hung in the Vermont History Museum until now. During COVID, we weren't able to gather and, and have celebrations like this, so it's really fun to be able to have the doors thrown wide open. Those doors were thrown wide open to mark the Secretary of State's office becoming the first state agency to reopen its offices on State Street after the July flood. Its building sits at a slightly higher elevation than the others. This summer has been really devastating, uh, not only here in Montpelier for the businesses and the families and, uh, and the state office buildings, but all over the state. Cynthia Cagle, the artist, declined to be interviewed, but she wanted to note, even though indigenous Americans won full U.S. citizenship in 1924, disenfranchisement efforts continued long afterward. Many of the most egregious laws were on the books well into the 60s. Even now, in 2023, there are restrictions that seek to deny the vote for indigenous Americans. Now, Lauren, Sarah Copeland Hansis has a personal connection here. She once attended UVM with Luvenia Bright's son, Bill Bright. He couldn't attend in person today, but offered remarks the secretary shared, including, quote, this painting captures the essence of what was important to my mother, and we hope her story will inspire others to serve. Live in the studio tonight, Mike Hoey, ABC 22 News. Mike, thank you. There has been a lot of talk surrounding the 14th Amendment as of late. 